there's a monitor here to monitor the, the camera and I'm, I'm fascinated with my own image. I have a confession to make. While the camera was off, I realized that uh, a rectified triangle wave is just another triangle of double the frequency. So it's not interesting at all. Um, I wish you could see me uh, just doing something completely useless for five minutes, but uh, trust me, it, it was not interesting. So we, we, we will not be using uh, this rectifier in combination with the, the Befaco A times B plus C. Um, it was nice to see the, both polarities match up, but when they did, it was just another triangle wave. So, meanwhile, I've set up the ULFO um, and this on the upper half of the wave is a uh, sign which is progressively rectified by this sweeping modulator. Um, right now you cannot really see it because the frequency is so high, but I'm recording some sweeps for you, the Patreons, and uh, after that I will lower the pitch so you will see what's happening better. And by the way, you're still hearing the distortions here it is with the distortions off. Yeah, I know it sounds dull, but your ear has been spoiled, right? Now, just to show you the rectified wave. Here is the rectification in effect. You see it is modulated and I have no idea why it's dancing around like that. Oh, it's probably because of the synchronization. Here it is without sync. It might be better actually. And it's a bit too hot. Last week, I was in a bar and there was a woman there. She said she was a filmmaker and she wanted me to act in her movie because she said I looked like a psychopath. Yeah. It's a true story. So anyway, um, I just took a lunch break and I had a beer, which makes me want to go even crazier. So let's push things further and try some wave folding. We'll wave fold the ULFO. Just like last time, we'll use Synthrotex Fold because it's rather clean and this is messy enough as it is. So, first we'll bypass it, but pass the signal through it. Hey! Hey, this is actually good. Um, wait a minute. Yes, let's sample this first. And you know what? Now that we've freed up this oscillator, let's add some zing. That is some of the inner modulation of the trident. If I got it right, zing is Rossum's name for um, ring modulation between two synchronized oscillators. So let's add some ring modulation. OK. 
Okay, normal. Okay, right. Yeah, well, it's not that great, is it? convinced anyway we were about to pass the ULFO through this wave folder just doing a little bit of cleanup here Now let's mix the wave folder in. Hmm. Let's make it let's make it worse or better. Let's adjust the oscilloscope resolution. Yes, this is better. Manually tuning this oscillator uh, according to this one because, well, as I said, this has to be approximative, unfortunately. In addition to the wave folder's offset, which is achieved with uh, rectifying the sine wave within the oscillator, um, but look, look at this. Okay, now the sine shape is constant, and let's get as close as we can to a perfect sine. Yeah. Now, I bring the wave folder in and I am changing the offset of the wave folder. It is the same as rectifying the sign before the wave folder. got a wider range here actually so and now let's animate the amount of folding too and maybe let's do only that otherwise we don't understand what's happening anymore And maybe 
maybe six folds are too many. Let's try two folds. Let's try four. Let's lower the pitch. I like that. I quite like that. Okay, let's record it with um, different levels of sub. This is with no sub. little bit of it and instead of the sub coming in all we hear is some added saturation because we're, we're definitely we're so hot and by the way um, both distortions are still in the loop this is it without them Maybe this is a little better, the distortions were too much. Let's add in a tiny little bit of Future Sound Systems TG4. A little less sub. Now what happens if we animate the subspurs with Keeping this very last sweep and the ones before that too. Now let's take a short break from the modular while I show you what I recorded while the camera was off. And I could really take my time perfecting this wave table without worrying about memory card filling up and all that. Let's hear it. So, what's happening here? It's essentially the same patch as we just did, but now, while the amount of falls is increasing, the pulse window for them is narrowing. Is that a word? Narrowing? Getting narrower? Hmm? So the increasing harmonics associated to wave folding get somehow tamed by the narrowing of their allocated pulse. Let's hear it a little more. See, I get real slow. Now there is less folding, but that wave takes the whole waveform and we gradually get more. I did a few variants of this one. I'll show them to you. For example, this one is the same patch with the same settings, but through some distortion. So it's brighter, it's also more chaotic. You'll see what I mean. I 
And finally, I'll show you um, a third one. In this one, while we get less folding and a wider pulse window for it, the pitch will also increase. More folding, lower pitch and narrower window. Less folding, higher pitch and a wider window. The idea still being that the increasing amount of harmonics from folding get compensated by the other factors so we get a more even harmonic density. Anyway, uh, back to the modular. Okay, this is very nice. But um, look, you know what we have here? Within the fold here, there is also a ring modulator. And we are going to try that. That's the ring modulation between this and this. about this? Do you like it? I, I don't know. I, I, I can't tell anymore. I don't know if it's great or just a mess. Let's try lower frequencies. Now, here we're beginning to see the typical shape of a ring modulated wave. Let's quit modulating the pitch of this oscillator.
there is something nice in there. I'm not sure. I, I'll include this recording in, in the pack anyway. But yeah, I think I'm done for today. This is not too bad. That is some of the new tones distortion put back in and let's add some feedback that distortion and now I've just added the TG4 back again I think this is as good as we'll get today I took the liberty of repatching everything and color coding for clarity. So, uh, in yellow are the modulations. Green is the main clocking pulse. Red are the auxiliary oscillators. Um, only one is connected right now. And pink for the distortions. Oh, and orange is just the output. And what I'd like to do now is pulse modulate the auxiliary oscillators. You can see here in yellow that there is pulse modulation. You always need to pulse modulate all your oscillators, otherwise, I don't know, who's gonna do it for you? Now I'm gonna stop talking so much and just play around for a little while. added distortions, the pink cables are distortion.
so this oscillator's wave is folded here um, through the purple cables. tuned this oscillator a little more this oscillator is still ring modulating this one through the red cables Let's hear everything dry without the distortions. Of course, it may sound a little dull now, but keep in mind that your ears have been spoiled. a bit of the new tone distortion back in but a tiny amount just to regain a little bit of brightness Instead of the new tone, I blended in the TG4. Here, but I think I said everything. And, uh, um, I'm done anyway. That's it. Have fun. <laughs> That's it. Have fun. Everything that we recorded today will be available to Patreons. It is, in fact, available right now. Link in the description. And it will be part of a commercial release sometime in 2021. It's a new video series and it's a new Patreon. So you can get in for as little as one euro per month and you can cancel after a month. So <laughs> sorry about that. There is more. Actually, there will be more uh, in the sample pack because I tried this patch a few months ago before making this video and I recorded a bunch of sounds back then too. So. That's it for today. I wish you lots of fun. And as for me, I suppose I'll keep enjoying my psychopathic face for a while. Yeah. And that is why I chose this one, the Electro Rossum Electro Music Trident. No, what, what is, what, what the fuck? The Russum, anyway, which other triple oscillator, <laughs> anyway, which other modern complex, uh, anyway, which other putain de merde. Um, anyway.